In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the Google Analytics reports that you can start using to figure out where your own site is actually leaking money. We're going to take a look at a few and we're going to start with one of my favorites here. So under conversions, we're going to go to goals and then we're going to go to funnel visualization. So this is the funnel visualization report. Now what this does, this is something you need to make sure is set up in your own analytics and set up correctly, of course, double check your steps. But when it's all set up properly, you will see a nice orderly flow of people moving through the different steps that you've set up in your funnel. So in this case, the goal is for purchase complete. This funnel is set up to show us how many people are actually starting the process in the cart. So people that actually assumed that they hit the cart and they're ready to purchase. In this case, 11,000, almost 12,000 people. Now of those, 8,000, almost 9,000 exited uh, and didn't end up continuing on to the cart. Some of them exited, other ones hit various pages here. It kind of gives you an example of the top five directions, uh, where, where destinations of where they ended up going. But of those almost 12,000 people here, 3,000 of them continued forth to billing and shipping. So we had, in that case, 25% is what this is telling us. 25% of the people moved through. Now here, 70% continued through payment, and of those, almost 80 went to the review stage, and then of those, 90% approximately ended up completing 1,500 at the end of the day, which was 12% of the people who initially started at the cart. So this is a really, really great report to set up. They're fairly easy to set up goals in Google Analytics. So you set up the goal, then you set up the goal funnel, and when you do that, you'll have this nice funnel report that you can take a look at. Again, it's called the Funnel Visualization Report right here. So under Conversions, Goals, and then Funnel Visualization, it's an absolutely fantastic report to see where you might be leaking money in your particular funnels because you would look for, uh, for for example, maybe people get to the review stage, but then 3% of those people make it through. You would know you've got a problem in that area. Now, another report that you can take a look at, we're gonna go into audience reports, and a lot of it's around tech. So we can go into our technology here, and let's take a look at the browser and OS report. Now, the browser and OS report is really great because very, very quickly it tells you, here are the top browsers, because it's organized by number of users. You can see this little arrow tells us that it's sorted by users. And we've got the browsers going down here. And then we've got the uh, acquisition metrics and the results metrics here. So I can see the quantity of traffic that I'm getting. I can actually see the quality of traffic that I'm getting in terms of the engagement metrics that are showing up here. And then I've got my completion goals. So I've got, in this case, e-commerce. So I can see Chrome is actually sending out a pretty good e-commerce um, amount in terms of transactions and revenue, and also is kicking in a pretty nice transaction rate. So 1.63% conversion rate. Now in this case, I've got also Safari and Firefox showing substantially lower conversion rates. Now, does that mean that there's a problem maybe with those browsers? Perhaps there could be. There might be a reason why Safari and Firefox buyers are less likely to buy than our Chrome buyers. That might be something I wouldn't take a look at. If I was concerned that there might be a version problem, uh, around something. I could click on Firefox and when you do that, it'll actually drill down into the actual version itself so I can see where all of the traffic that I was getting, in this case, it looks like most of it was 61. I am still seeing some revenue come through, most of the transactions coming through 61. This is a much lower conversion rate. And again, it's not always because of the tech. Um, it just might be that Firefox buyers are, are more than likely to not buy Google merchandise at the Google merchandise store. It could be that. But this technology report is a really great way for you to very quickly and easily figure out which technology is actually working for you and which might be working against you. Now, finally, another report we're gonna take a look at while we're here is under screen resolution. So under screen resolution, this actually shows you the screen sizes. And this is often overlooked to even think about screen sizes, but everybody has different monitors and, and every laptop and tablet and mobile device that's out there has a different screen resolution. And what you can do is you can actually take a look, if we sort by conversion rate here, and we're gonna pull this up just real quick. So let's do this. I'm gonna pull up, let's just say the first 100, just kind of give you an example of the concept. And you can always filter this out to say, show me users that are, you know, anything that was like more than 10 users or whatever under a certain device type. But if I scroll down a little bit, you can start seeing conversion rates, right, as they drop, because we're sorting by conversion rate here. And are there certain screen types that might be more or less likely to convert based on that? So screen resolution uh, is a very, very important report to actually take a look at and see, again, maybe it's a certain screen type where that particular size just doesn't convert and why? It could be very easy. It could just be because it doesn't look any good and the buy button doesn't show and it requires somebody to scroll. Or maybe it loads off or partially or just breaks or just looks weird. Um, and just understanding that is super important. The other thing to understand is if we rank this by users, 
you can see of your users, in this case, 71,000 users, 10%, roughly 11% here, 10%, 10%. So already about a third of the traffic is in one of these three screen sizes. So when you're developing your pages, when you're actually looking at your own pages, testing your own pages, you would know from this report, what are the top sources? What are the top screen resolutions that you really should make sure that you or your team are looking at to make sure that they look good, to make sure you're addressing the majority of the traffic coming through. Again, if it's down here, very small screen size, you know, these radically different different screen sizes, um, but it's very, very small percentage of traffic, so probably nothing to really worry about. But definitely focus on these higher level ones and then comparing these with the traffic source that you have, the amount of traffic coming in, quality metrics that are showing the engagement, and then ultimately the results. We see here again, 2.58 conversion rate for this, right? That's fascinating that these larger ones aren't converting anywhere near the percentage that this is. Now again, why is that? It could just be because it looks odd or different um, on this particular browser type than it does here. So it's worth checking out to help you figure out. Again, there may be nothing there, but what Google Analytics is great at is possibly telling you where there could be fire by showing you where there might be some smoke. And that's what this report is incredibly good at. Now, before we end this video, I wanna take a look at one other report, and that is under your mobile, and then you're gonna to go to overview. So then we see device category. We've got desktop, mobile, tablet that are showing up here. Now, the desktop traffic, if we look at this, you've got about 48,000 users, and then mobile's cut by about half. Let's you know just rough it out, say around half. So in this case, users, so desktop user about 50, roughly let's call it 25 to 20, I know it's 20, but let's call it 25. Roughly half the users are coming in through mobile are half the transactions, or is half the revenue coming in through mobile? And here we see, no, it's not. We've got transactions, a thousand transactions here. We would expect if this ratio is gonna keep the same, about half the traffic, you'd expect maybe about half the transactions to come through on mobile, but it's not, it's substantially lower. And you can see that reflected in your e-commerce conversion rate. So here, about 1.8% of the sessions are converting into actual e-commerce transactions, and then mobile, 0.43. Now again, could this be an area that as a company you would want to investigate and take a look at? Absolutely. It might not be anything you can do, but there could be some very simple changes that you might want to make to your mobile experience in order to help you to improve that mobile conversion rate. So again, this is the, the device category reports under mobile. Go to overview and that's where you're going to find these details. So under audience, and then mobile, and then overview, you will find the breakdown by devices. Again, this is one of those reports you don't look at every single day, but when you do, it can help you to identify leaks in your own funnel. I would love to know how you're actually applying this information to improve your own marketing efforts. If you leave a quick comment below, let us know that, that would be great. Plus, if you like topics around Google Analytics, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the CXL channel. That way you're notified whenever a new video is available.